So YouTubers, Fortune Cookie 45 all see coming to you from the hot lead zone, and I know how it is. When the season's starting, we buy shot shells. We don't just buy one box, we'll buy a, a whole case. Or maybe even two cases to last the season. And that includes field use, light hunting use, informal target practice at the range, shooting clay birds, this kind of thing. So we're liable to buy some of these Remington game loads. And the case looks like this. And if we want a little more information, we can go online and go to the Remington site ammunition and look up the Remington game loads and find out that they're lead game loads. Well, they want to make sure you know that it's lead shot so you won't use it in an application that doesn't allow lead. But if you look at what they say about the loads, they don't say much. And if you look what's on the box, they really don't tell what's inside the uh, loads. And if we're a little more serious competitors shooting clay birds, we might invest in Remington Gun Club target loads. Not just field loads or game loads, but these are target loads. The difference is, these loads have shot that's a little bit harder. So we'll get better patterns and better clay bird breaking than in the inexpensive field loads or game loads. So these have a little better shot. And if you want to find out about the Remington Gun Club target loads, doesn't tell you a whole lot. Just says it's good for skeet traps, sporting clays, and it's good for target shooting and all that kind of thing, but they don't really tell you about the loads. Well, I happen to know that the shot is a little harder in there, gives you a little better patterns than the game loads, and that's why these are more expensive than the game loads. So the purpose of this video is to go over some of these, and first of all, we're going to talk about the game loads. These are Remington game loads. It's got a black plastic case body. It's got a kind of a steel, soft steel base rim. Remington 209 primer. And then look at the quality that they closed up the crimp and the slight radius of the top of the case so that it improves the functioning and pumps and, and semi-auto loaders. Very nice looking shell. This happens to be a one ounce load so you got a little more velocity. But that crimp is very nice and they're all like that. Now some of you commenters have been asking me about the Remington Gun Club loads. And that's what this is here. Remington Gun Club. It happens to have a one and one eighth ounce load, a full three ounces, a full three drum equivalent, one and one eighth ounce number eight shot, and this is a is a classic target load, and this is a gun club target load, and it is a very nicely closed crimp, also radius, high quality shell, but it's got the case body happens to be green, same same head as the game loads. And so is the difference only that the shot is a little bit harder? And this happens to have a 1 and 1 eighth ounce shot charge instead of the other one being a 1 ounce? So what kicked off this video was that some of the commenters have been asking about Remington gun clubs, whether they're good hulls or good cases to be used for reloading. And my answer was that yes, these are very good for reloading. And the reason why is if you look down inside the case, if you look down inside the case with a strong light, you can see that it's a one piece case body, which means there's no separate base wad down there. Now, contrast that with a case where you look down into the, the case with a strong light. And you can actually see that there's a separate base wad down there made out of some kind of fiber. You see that down there? Now all the companies make these. They're the least expensive shells. And I don't recommend using these for reloading. We'll go into that a little more in a little while. But the gold standard for a reloadable case for a shot shell is the Winchester AA. 
and you'll see that it's injection molded. They actually inject the plastic into a mold to make this case body. It's all made in one piece and you see that the, the case plastic is thicker down here in the head and the head is a one piece head that holds the primer and then enables the, the metal rim to be put around that. It's all one piece in there. There's nothing to come loose or come out. And because it's thicker here, this case will, st will stand fairly strong pressures, way above target loads. You could actually load magnum loads with this case, or even slugs, because the case is that strong. So this is the gold standard that Winchester AA for reloading cases. Now you take the Remington Gun Club and you'll see that it is the same kind of injection molded case. It's, it's thicker plastic down here near the head and it's all a one piece. You see that down there? The base wad, that's that bottom part that holds the primer. It's called the base wad. Well, there's no separate base wad. It's all made in one piece. And that's the best. So that this gun club case can be used to load anything in 12 gauge. It can be used to load target loads. It can be used to load heavy field loads, magnum loads. It can load slugs, buckshot, whatever you want. Just because the metal doesn't go up high doesn't mean that the case is weaker. The reason why the high bases are used is just, just so you can tell at a glance that that shell is a little more powerful. But you can load powerful loads in this just as well. So the, the height of the, of the rim here doesn't mean that the case is stronger. This is a very strong case, usable for any almost any use. But now here's a surprise. You take the, the, the less expensive Remington gain loads and you'll see that it is also a one piece injection molded body. And look at that, it, it's a little thicker down at the bottom and the base wad is all one piece molded. I don't know if you can see that or not down there. But it's all one piece. There's nothing to, nothing to separate here. Just like the gun club. Just like the Winchester AA. So what that means is you can buy the less expensive game loads, save your hulls, and load just about anything you want to with them. Slug loads, buckshot, heavy field loads, handicap trap loads, whatever you want to load, you can load with this, this shell. The difference probably is that the double A is still probably the king because you can probably reload it a few more times. But we'd have to do some testing to see if that's true or not. Because I found that you can load these about 10, 11 times and then it's time to retire it. So here's one of our double A's been loaded about 11 times, maybe 12 times. And you see it starts to get pretty beat up. And we certainly wouldn't want to use this in some kind of competition. But for practice, it's probably okay. But even then, would we want to practice with this? If we're being serious comp competitors? So how many times can you actually reload one of these practically? Say about 8 times. Well, we may very well be able to reload the, these eight times, including the very inexpensive game load case. So here's the difference. We use our Kershaw Blur blade to cut these open to show you that in the least expensive shells, and all the manufacturers make these, the way these are made is the plastic case body is all one thickness. You see that? It's all the same thickness. It's in a roll, a roll of plastic. And they cut these to the right height and then they, they make them into strips and then they just roll them on the machine into the tubular case. And then they jam it down into the rim and then they take this fiber base wad and they press that right in there. And that'll hold the primer and support the metal rim. But... After you fire this once, it's very dicey whether you should even reload it again a second time. So what I used to tell reloaders is, make sure you don't load these more than once. But why bother then? 
Now this happens to be a brand new case that I opened up with our Kershaw Blur and once again even a new base wad if you look at that it doesn't look very presentable and that's what we're trying to reload I wouldn't recommend reloading these now the other reason is because the the wall of the case is straight the performance of the powder charge and the obturation actually may not be as consistent so that you won't see any competitors or serious trap shooters, skeet shooters, sporting clays shooters, you won't see them using these kind of loads in competition. They might use them for practice or informal shooting, but not for anything serious. But all the companies, again, all companies make these, not just federal. And these are the least expensive shot shells. However, this was surprised to me that the game loads are actually the same kind of construction as the gun club and even the double A's. So this one piece construction is what we want and by all means if you're shooting Remington game loads you ought to save those empties because you can reload them very nicely. And you might want to give these a try to do reloading with. Bye for now.